it's me. I'm JC. It's JC. It's whoever to call me. <laughs> and it is hair porn. Real quickly, welcome to my channel. I'm JC. Jersey is Jermaine. And that's what this is. And it's hair porn. It's time for the takedown. It's been two weeks. Yes, and I am ready for these for these twists to come out. Now, real quickly, let's give a look. Let me get close. Yeah, you can see that. One person just, like, I've gotten, like, three times that I was told that I have dreads, and I was like, no, they're not even starter dreads, they're just twists, they're lived in twists, someone told me I had, like, new growth, and for you guys out there, I don't normally do this part, when you do protect the styles, you naturally will have new growth, not as much, sometimes it's your hair just getting, like, like your roots getting a little bit like that, like, this is kind of shows you a little bit, as you know, I'm not, like, the cleanest, I'm not a clean person, I'm not the cleanest I don't have like line precision. <laughs> so that's my whole thing. I'm gonna give you that as a close up. So what's gonna happen right now is gonna show you what I'm using and then I'm gonna show you a little bit of the top because I need a rubber band and it's not on my hand. So I'm gonna do the back real quick and I'll be back with you probably for the top. But before, let me give you our LOC. <laughs> right here is aloe vera juice. Y'all know I trust this is my aloe vera juice. And I'm going to not gonna, I'm going to spray this first so you can understand. This is pure liquid <laughs> aloe vera juice plus peppermint oil. And ready? Yeah, get that in there. <laughs> get me. Oh, feels so good. Okay, and it's all over. It's in the bag. And when I while I'm getting ready, like to twist, this is what I also do. I just put a little in my hands. And I go like this. Especially since I'm about to go to the back. I just make sure. I, I like to make sure I'm staying hydrated with this. And then next is my oil mix. I'm not going to put that much oil in my hair. I'm going to put it in my hands only. I had a mix up. This is my oil mix. Yes, it's running. <laughs> so I'm going to just put some in my hand. And I'm going to switch hands. This is my oil mix. And as you know, I have a video for it. Since we're doing a takedown video, this is going to be okay. I'm gonna show you the maintenance. The maintenance video was last week. That would mean that was a weekend. This lasted two weeks. Um, could it last longer? Up to me, yes. Up to y'all, probably not. I know y'all. Some of y'all like really want to see my curls, and some people just say, "Well, I love protective styles," and I'm glad that you give us info for it. And that's kind of the goal for my channel, so you can see the installment see during and see after a lot more people do longer protective styles than me and that's okay i feel like i tell everybody like this is your hair it's your journey i miss my curls like crazy so <laughs> you have to understand certain people will love it some people won't and i'm that one person where i naturally <laughs> miss my curls a lot that's not least what we're gonna be doing today is this Yes, Oliver, this is going to be Shea Moisture. <laughs> it's a Shea Moisture batch of making castle oil line. This is the leave-in conditioner. Why do I use leave-in conditioner? One, because this is a cream. Actually, you know, you're probably like, oh, he did C. He's got him an L for a long time. And now it is, now today is going to be a C. Why? Because, well, this is uh, how much I'm going to use. <laughs> I'm not using that much. Um, Today is going to be, I'd rather have a light, lighter C than like a thicker one because... Pretty much what's gonna happen now in my hair. I'm about to show you a little bit. I'm gonna see how much I can take out with y'all watching and then do as much off camera because a lot of times, which I don't know that what takes so long is like I like to look at my hair and then stop and then kind of like start styling. So <laughs> it's in my hair now. Um, Oliver. A, a leave -in conditioner is a good styler to either install or to take out. A great um, a leave -in conditioner has water base. And your curls, like say mine, I don't, when my hair is in protective style, I try much just to oil my hair and give it a light moisture. Whereas, because if you do too much, your hair can expand and then that means like the curls at the ends. Like say right here. Okay, let me give you an example. Say if this right here was overdone. Naturally, as you see how I'm pulling at it, it's naturally trying to expand. So, I'm already kind of like, okay, I'm going to show you how. Like, you see how quick that is? That's how easy 
if I just went to my roots and went two, two or three, my hair would be unraveled. You know what I'm saying? You're like, oh, okay. It's hard to explain unless you've been through it, especially in the new naturals. You're a natural that's been through a lot, and you know that your curls naturally want to unravel a lot. That's what happens to some of us. Not everybody, but it happens to me. So first things first, let me see if I can get this. We're going to go, I'm going to be holding my hand with my hand because I don't really want to do two takes. I'm going to go right here first. And this is how I unravel. Turn your head that way first. <laughs> I'm telling myself to do that. And I like to unravel like that. And as you see, this is how my hair does. This is just the first one. And I'm just going to let it just stay chunky first. Because the back is chunkier than the front. And that's how, this is all, that's all I do when I unravel. As you notice, this is how big my back, my um back twists are compared to the front. The front frame my face. And I recommend that more than anything to all you out there. Um, why is that? Because your back naturally, let's see. I'm going to have to dissolve camera, guys. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have a like I don't have nothing on with me. So it naturally is not like the easiest thing to do. Let's see if I can do this correctly. So first things first, you gotta get your hair out of your way. And my hair is actually long enough that I can do this right here, where I could twist it out of my way. And that's like all the back. And let me turn around a little bit. Let's go to this side. So that's what I'm gonna do. You see how I'm doing like this? I'm tugging at my hair, but I'm also trying to loosen it like this. And then at a certain point, I'm going to see how it unravels. And you just feel the placement like this as so. <laughs> Ready? And that's it. As you unravel your hair, you'll see it expand. You'll see it want to shrink up. Your hair might, like, 20, it comes to two strand twists a lot of times. So I'm at seven minute mark. <laughs> um, let's see. What happens with a two strand twist a lot is this. Your hair naturally will go from like it being elongated. From the elongation, it'll go shrink it'll shrink up because the moisture balance is so good and healthy. Your hair, if it doesn't shrink up, that's something to ask people about because naturally when you're natural and your curls always expand and it should always length retention, it should always suck up. And you're like, oh okay, like a fro. Just like a fro, because your twist, your two strand twist will do the same thing as so, so much of your hair being out. That's why it's kind of a good go-to for, like, especially new naturals. And it's also a good, like, it's a good foundation to have. Um, two strand twists versus, like, say, plaits. Plaits, it takes a little direction because you have to also frame your face. And you have to also know how much hair you need for each plait and to kind of frame your face to your, like... <laughs> All right, let's keep going. Let's see. This was easy. I'm going to be doing private two strands twists pretty soon. I'm going to give y'all a lot of videos soon. I hope y'all like my um my next two weeks with my reviewing Every Jack Man. This is a good talk to you as well. And <laughs> I guess we're going to give them conversations. Well, let me ask y'all. How y'all doing today? How y'all doing? Oh. If you're doing good, watch my videos. Could help. Um, if you said great, oh my god, I'm glad you had a great day. So I'm listening. I'm listening. Um, <laughs> we could be taking our hair down together. We were like, ooh, the struggle. Yes. Um, I'm now in the back section. Let's see if I can turn around, turn around, turn around. I am tall. I want y'all to know that now. <laughs> That's a mixed exception. I get sometimes for my height, and I'm. Like I said, my back of my hair, I did, like, my back has at least, I think, up to eight twists. And then all over my head, I think it's, like, the front has, I think, maybe 18. And the back is almost done. <laughs> I'm glad about that. The back sometimes is, like, the most annoying part. <laughs> um, so I was like, why is that? Because your hair. My back is different because I don't, like, have a camera. I don't ever do like a mirror to make sure my back looks great and I just yeah I like that 
I try my best to keep my hair as loose as possible. I mean, when, I, when I'm when i trying to untangle, <laughs> well, not untangle, when I'm trying to do the takedown process, your hair may sometimes do get, like, a little tangled up. And that's okay. It does happen. Um, Your hair has been locked away for two weeks, basically. And I want I just wanted to say that, first and foremost. This, this is almost done. You're getting a feel of how it's going to look. I'm going to be back with you with the finished product since I give you all 10 minutes. And... <laughs> Let me just do the rest off camera and I'll be back with you. Hair porn. <laughs> Hair porn. Don't you wanna? Okay, I'm back. <laughs> um, Loki, how long did it take? It took... I feel like it took about seven minutes off camera. Yeah, it's weird to say this. While I'm, while I'm like looking, I don't want to have like dead air. So you like... Yeah, that wouldn't work for me. So how long did it take to install my twist honestly i think it took probably 30 minutes to 40 minutes pretty much i feel like a 20 to 30 minutes to do my lock method that day which consisted of the shea moisture <laughs> shea moisture black Cast cast oil line and it was this was just as high went okay so shea moisture black Cast oil line and it was the leave conditioner that was my c that was my l that was my l l and then i used <laughs> I use as my O, my O mix. As y'all know, O mix is my staple for my O, my own O. And last but not least, my C for that was, was Shea Moisture Jamaican Black Castor Oil Lock or Braid, Lock and Braid, um, Lock and Braid Butter. Yeah, and this is how it turned out. I don't know how y'all probably like, I really want to see how it just turned out. And this is how it looks. Uh, you probably like, oh, but the roots. Okay, honestly, this is how I feel. A little fuzz does not do anything for me. Like, I don't really... I've always told this to a lot of guys. Some guys be like, I really like having that precision. I'm not that guy. To me, I'd rather have a lived on... I'd rather have a living look and have a look where I'm like this, looking at it. And as you see, you see the definition stills and all my curls. That's just... That's just the twist itself. And, I mean, that's... This is the, this is the effect of a two-strand twist. Your curl, if you have good definition of how you, like, if you twist it, correct, like, if you twist it in a certain way, and you do a little twirl, this is what that twirl did, as you see all over. So, if you like this look, <laughs> give me a thumbs up. This is a quick video. Um, This is long, I guess, the first part. But, if you give me a thumbs up, thank you so much. I'm going to be showing you something else to do with my hair pretty soon. Yes, and don't forget to watch videos all week long. I'm going to be trying my best to give y'all movies soon, pretty soon. Give me some time. And also, if you want to follow me on my social media, which is Facebook. <laughs> That's on Facebook. My Facebook is Jermaine, um, Jermaine Calando. Or you can follow me on Life as Life of JC. Yes, and that's on my that's my um official page. And that's where my kind of relief is for the whole week. And that's also where my poetic joints will start as of two days ago. <laughs> and yes, I have a lot of kind of relief that's on there that I may put on this channel on like days that I'm not that I'm not using anything else. And also you can follow me on Instagram. I am JC Jordan Jermaine. Just like this page. I try my best to keep my pages kind of close, like the same thing. I'm also on Twitter, but I don't really, I don't, I don't do Twitter still. I still do Tumblr for the guys and girls that did not give on Tumblr that wants to make it creative. I am still on Tumblr, and it is I am Jayco. I think it's I am Jayco. I am J E C J J J E A L C O. I think that's what it is. So I can leave all the links in the bio if you want to see that. Just tell me in the comments, and I'll give you the. I'll do that too. Um, for everything else, this is how my little hair looks. One more time, this is the detailed part. Mm. <laughs> this is hair horn with me. I'm JC. <laughs> if you like this video, give me a thumbs up. Give me a heart if you want to an emoji in the comments. If you want to see more about my curls and how I got it like this, I will try my best to give you a better tutorial if you did not like the last one. Which just what that last one was was a great like a tutorial how I'm doing it. <laughs> see you with the next one.